What's up, everybody? It's your boy, J-Rod, and welcome to the channel. So today's video is going to be audio. I didn't feel like getting on camera today because um, I just am getting over a cold and my nose is stuffed up a little bit. So if I sound sick, you know, that's why. But I want to share with you a sad story that happened to a man. He was murdered at the age of 38 while vacationing in Chile, Santiago. Um, and this is a very sad story. But before I break down my commentary, please go ahead and hit up that like button and hit that subscribe. He worked to reduce crime in his own community here in New York City, but was then murdered while on vacation in another country. 38-year-old Eric Garvin, a lawyer from Staten Island, was in Chile when his passion for travel and photography came to a sudden and violent end. He was shot to death on the streets of Santiago. His father, devastated by the news, spoke exclusively with Eyewitness News reporter Mike Marza about the tragic loss. Mike? Shade, so heartbreaking. Eric Garvin went to Santiago with his best friend. The two stayed in separate parts of town, and when Garvin's friend couldn't find him, well, he went to the U.S. Embassy to report him missing, but instead... He was dead in a hospital morgue. Chilean authorities telling the family Garvin, who, as you mentioned, was an avid photographer and explorer, may have been wrongly targeted in a drug turf war. Eric Eugene Garvin visited over 40 countries, many with his older sister, Naomi. There they are in Cuba. He made friends very quickly with our hosts and her extended family and even some of the neighbors on the block. But yeah, he never... He never had a concern about going out of the country. But on vacation in Santiago, Chile, Saturday, January 14th, he was shot and killed, taking a picture. From a father's perspective, this is the, the darkest day in my life, uh, in my wife's life. His father and sister flew to Chile to meet with investigators who are reviewing unreleased security video of the crime. What they told us that my son was innocently walking down the street. He paused for a moment he took a snapshot of a building in a drug infested area and immediately following that three gentlemen came across the street grabbed my son stole his phone and they shot him three times and he died there on the scene the 38 year old attorney by trade graduated high school in maryland and moved to staten island a decade ago he lived a life of exploration and service inspired by his dad, a former U.S. Air Force colonel. I want people to be more like him, right? I want people to make space for each other. Um, I want them to be curious about meeting each other and about experiencing each other's cultures. His sister Naomi asked me to mention that Santiago is a beautiful place with beautiful people and authorities there have been helpful in this investigation and are hopeful there will be some arrests soon. But violence that has plagued parts of Venezuela, Brazil and Colombia now spilling into the streets of Santiago. In fact, homicides in that city have shot up 40 percent in the last six years. Currently, there is not a U.S. State Department travel warning to Chile. So as you can see, this story is really unfortunate because um, when you go on vacation, you have the expectations that you're going to go down there, have a good time, you know, enjoy the culture, the people, and then you come back home safely. And unfortunately, that just didn't happen in this case for this man. And it seemed to be one of those situations just kind of like the wrong place at the wrong time. And what's even more sad is the fact that um, he is a seasoned traveler. He has visited over 40 countries. So he wasn't new to this travel game. You know, he's been doing this for a while. And um, that just goes to show you that even bad things can happen to some of the veterans or some of the best. And I never take those things for granted when I'm traveling. You know, I'm always thankful. I always thank God after every trip because it's just the fact that, you know, anything could happen and you can never be sure that um, everything is just going to be 100 percent safe. You know, I have experienced some dangerous things when I travel and um, that is one of the realities of being a traveler is bad things do happen and you do have to kind of be aware of your surroundings and situation and you almost have to over anticipate that something bad is going to happen. One thing you can do to protect yourself when you're traveling and if you're venturing off into neighborhoods is making sure that um, you go with a local, you know, like it's it's one thing to be in the tourist areas, but once you get off into the neighborhoods, you definitely want to go with somebody that is from there who knows that area well and as you saw in the story he was in a drug infested area meaning that it was an area that wasn't really a place that you needed to be taking pictures or recording i know for example when i was in brazil i went to the favelas by the way you need to watch the favela video i made it's a really good video 
But um, even in the favelas, like my tour guide, he was actually from the favelas. He lived there. And there were certain parts in the favela where he told me, hey, put your camera away or don't record here because this is a drug infested area. Or he'll tell me like, hey, don't record here because this is kind of a hot zone and the drug lords, they don't want you recording right here. I'll show you, uh, we gotta check it that our dealers here. If they are, you don't, you don't, you don't point the camera outside. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll show you a room, but uh, from the window, if I see them, you don't point the camera outside, just inside. I remember specifically one time he took me to this, I guess it was called like a slaughterhouse, and that's like code name for basically a house you go to get it on with your partner or whatever. So we went into this slaughterhouse, and I remember he told me, he was like, don't point the camera out the window drug lords are across the street and um so i just was waiting there in the um, living room and he said hey i'm gonna go to the bathroom so he goes up to the bathroom and a lot of time passes by and in my mind i thought i was gonna get set up and so i went ahead and took out the sd card out my camera you know just to kind of prepare um if anything happened and luckily nothing did happen but um in in those favelas i mean there were several times where i would walk past people with AK-47s or, you know, different guns. And um, even the police weren't even allowed to go into the favelas in certain areas. And these people, they literally could do whatever they want at their own will. So, you know, I just tell people that um, it's always good to go with a local because had I not gone with a local into that favela, I would not have known which areas were safe to take pictures or record in. So, that's just one thing that I tell travelers is, you know, if you're going to venture off from the tourist areas, make sure that you talk to the locals about it or somebody who's from there to guide you. The next thing I would say is, of course, don't dress too flashy. And even if I know, depending on what country you're in, you can dress down all the way and you'll still stand out. But at least don't give these people a reason to rob you. So what I mean is, you know, stay away from the excessive jewelry, you know, try not to have your electronics all out in the open, you know, just really try to just keep it simple, you know, and these are just some things that can reduce attention to you when you're out traveling. But um, like I said, in this situation, I feel like it was one of those things, it was just the wrong place, the wrong time. And since he is, you know, a seasoned traveler, this guy has been to over 40 countries. He probably was used to going into areas that were part of the non-touristy places. So, um, all I'm just saying is for my travels out there, just be very vigilant when you're going to these places. Never take your safety for granted. And if there's anything you could take from this video, please understand that your safety is not guaranteed. You are never going to be 100% safe when you travel. Anything can happen. This could happen in your local neighborhood with you just going to the grocery store. Um, so you always got to anticipate the worst and you always got to stay in your P's and Q's and make sure that you're always constantly aware of your surroundings. And if you're going to be going to areas that are not the typical tourist places, please make sure you go with somebody that's from there. But um, that's all I had to say for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and catch me in my next one. All right, peace.